Oh, I didn't get the notification. Are we live? Are we live? Are we, not are live? we actually live? live? No, no, no. No. Did we go live? Okay. Yes, we yet. live. No, we Gareth, not. are we live? Yes, we live. Yes, we live. I don't know if we... Oh, I don't think guys. so, hey? I think so. Are no, we live? Something's not we right, live. hey? We live. No, we're not. Are we live? Oh, yes, we are. <laughs> are we live? Okay. <laughs> My internet's faster than yours. My internet's faster than yours. Bro, I don't Good see evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Critical Hits. My name's Anthony, and I'm the DM for this homebrew campaign in the world of Monolith, and I lead a group of friends from South Africa. We have ourselves a round of Dungeons and Dragons. We do this once a week on our Facebook page. We also do have a copy of it on our YouTube channel. If you like our stuff, and yes, we know there are people out there that like our stuff. Come, guys, interact with us. Comment, like, share, ask questions. I'm sure the party will only be too happy to answer them when they find the time. We're also very fortunate that we have a sponsor for this campaign. So let us take it away with that sponsorship clip, please, Mr. Bowen. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Mocha's Magics, so we're just going to roll with them. Get your custom sharp edge dice from resin and fill the splendor of shiny goodies to match your class, characters and all your critical adventuring needs. Every set comes with an additional magnum size d20 for those moments with big choices of when things start to get dicey. For only 250 rand you can get your very own custom set and be prepared to roll with the punches. Go visit Mocha's Magic's Facebook page and get in contact with Jessica to place your order be it for yourself, for your next character or as a gift for one of your companions. For those who suffer from a dice buying addiction, look no further and get your fix, but get quality dice. Focus magics. This is how we roll. Good stuff. So guys, if you're interested and you want to, you can either leave a message on our on our Facebook page and Jessica will reply to you directly. Or alternatively, you can message her on Mocus Magic's Facebook group or page. I don't know if it's a group or a page. I can't remember. Page. Or you page. page. And you can also DM her directly if you are interested. Okay, let us introduce our voice cast, starting as I see it with uh, Desigan. Uh, hi guys, <clears throat> uh, my character has faded away into the future, so I'm waiting for my character to be introduced. It's a level 10 bugbear ranger, and I pass it on to Jessica. Hey everybody, I am Tink. Oh, well, my name is Jessica, but I play Tink, a level 11 forest gnome druid with circle of the moon and i pass it on to mike hello everybody my name is mike i play nathan valorant the wanted a level 11 soul knife rogue multi-class into a paladin oath of vengeance um as always valorant is the character to note as being a little bit vain but as he says we're just too pretty for the gods to let us die i'll pass it on to my bearded friend verna Good evening, everybody. Like Mike said, my name is Vano. I play you, currently a Shadow Monk, and I'll pass it on to Gareth, I think. Yeah. Hi, everyone. My name is Gareth. I play T, the level 11 UNT Pure Blood Spiritualist, who is multi classed level 6 Spiritualist and level 5 Warlock, the Great Old One. And I pass it on to Sarah. So by Sarah, my character Druid disappeared. Uh, so I've got a new character that goes by Ricky, and they are a level 10 Bard Eganasi. Good stuff. Cool. Okay, okay, so where we Sorry. left off. Yeah. Uh, Gareth, just do me a favor, make sure that Jess, uh, Ricky's mic is loud on the stream, please, bro. Yeah. She's very soft at the moment with yeah, us. Yeah, so. I've just uh, uh, increased her to 200, which is maximum. So I can't Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Thank you. Now, and again, just a, just a shout out to Gareth. For those of you not aware, Gareth is actually our streamer. And last week, I have to take my hat off to him. The levels were perfect. The visuals were perfect. So mm -hmm. well done, Gareth. Very, very Well done, proud. Gareth. Can't that. wait to see what yeah. your character coffee does next. Thanks, man. <laughs> 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 no, it's tea, not coffee. Ah, 
God, yes. Well, someone okay, so after me. the events of the week before where several of the players uh, vanished into the ethereal mist and disappeared from existence, the remaining members of the party being Yun, Nathan, and T, otherwise Yun and T, oh wait, that's, a, that's really bad, but anyway, considering he does play Yun T. Yun T and Nathan made their way back to the ship to find the lovable Tink who immediately decided it was worth while well, joining the party because she's looking for stuffs or ingredients, I think, if I remember correctly. And the party That's offered ingredient her ingredients. Stuffs. stuffs, yeah. So she, re she joined the party and the party made their way to go explore the first said mine that the party decided to explore. They arrived there and made their way inside with uh, Nathan remembering from the past visit to said mine that there would be an activation rod that they could find. He then got everybody ready because he was going to summon the giant worm that he knew inhabited the area. And so he did, the giant worm did appear. And with Tink, the lovable Tink having a nice conversation with him, discovered that there is ore deposits not far from here. And uh, Nathan and Yun were having a fanboy moment going through the realization that this was the worm from the stories that they'd grown up about that had helped their ancestors in the original storyline of Campaign 1. For those of you interested, Campaign 1 is on our Facebook and on our YouTube channel if you would like to listen to it. The party then boarded said worm, who brought them to a dam of sorts of an ore deposit with a lot of baby ore eaters in the waters, well, the ore around them. The party then discovered the mysterious cloaked individual in purple that was controlling a whole set of dolls, and on careful examination discovered that each of the dolls corresponded to the name of a city near somewhere in the world of Monolith. The party also learned that Bob's spouse or mate was in prison somewhere, and that there were three other such pools of ore not far from each other. The party decided that they are going to go and find Bob's mate, and that is where we left off last week. So, just, oh, just to remember, fine. we okay. dubbed we dubbed Bob's mate Barbara. <laughs> Barbara. You did. I've dubbed her Barbara. Her name is Barbara. Barbara. Well, Barbara. technically, if anybody can name a, a beast, it would be the um, the druid. The druid. Well, yeah. I was going to say, shouldn't it be the fucking person who played the character Gimli who actually originally named Bob? But I'm just, I'm just saying, no, man. No, huh? no, huh? no, huh? no, 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 uh, no. Just want to let you know. No, you name. No, you name. I, I, I was the original you're character. You're not Gimli anymore. Who played nah, you're not getting this. Gimli died. Gimli, Gimli retired from. Yeah, Gimli never. Don't, don't come bring here another with, character don't, as strong don't, as Gimli don't, and then we'll talk. Don't come here with Gimli died. Gimli just retired. Gimli is still technically alive. Gimli died, bro. Was Gimli a dwarf? Gimli was a dwarf. Yes. Gimli was a dwarf. No one ever speaks about Thorin. Thorin. Gimli didn't die, we yes. Thorin. Thorin got. But Thorin got turned into a porcupine of sorts. No, G no. Gimli and Archon are still friends. Thorin, Thorin was taken to a uh, Arkham Asylum-like place, managed to escape it, and then uh, ran into a hallway and died. Yeah, a whole lot of arrows hit him and killed him. Yeah, that was. By the way, that's talking about random characters dying suddenly. That was my introduction to it. I ran through the hallway. Cool, you're gonna do that. Characters dead. <laughs> oh no, Thorin! <laughs> that's what happened. What's his name? Hello. Miss Thorin every day. Okay, well, we in the game, lads. Okay, let's play. Mm -hmm. Um, um, Mr. DM. The DM froze. We left off exactly what you said, so you guys are doing. Right. So, um, we decided not to touch the levers last we played. And we decided to try sense with an ability. That's the spell. That's the spell. Yes. Locate object or animal. I could yes. not remember the spell that we that I was going to cast. So tell me, Tink. 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 
where is this other Bob like beast? <laughs> Come on, it can't be that easy. <laughs> Sorry, the reason why I'm laughing is he like tink, tink. It is like, but remember to call it tink. Tink. Yeah, he's like reminding himself. No, 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 not, 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 not locate creature, locate animal, or because I don't, I don't, ha I don't think I have locate creature at the moment. Hold on. Let's fourth just level. Check. Oh, actually, wait I a do. minute. Tink, hold, hold your horses. I had an idea. Oh, if actually, wait a minute, okay, this hooded purple nurple was gathering something from Bob, surely it must do with the likes of bringing it to his partner. I mean, I've talked to a few rangers. I'm not a ranger myself. Maybe. Maybe we should add a ranger to, to the party to help us with this sort of thing going forward. But I'm pretty sure that he gathered that for a reason. Maybe oh. we should follow him. And we will find what we're looking for. Uh. Yun, what do you think? Someone could fly. Hmm? I could follow him most likely. I mean, oh, can I roll for perception to see if there's any prison cells like nearby? Roll. That is sixteen plus. Nice sucking <laughs> sound effects, bro. Right. Oh. Uh, uh, no, no, please no. Please suck harder. Um. That's what oh. I, that's what I said. It's twenty three. That sucks you power, man. Uh, you and what was that? South, just to test it out a bit, yeah. South. If I decide to follow that guy. Mm. Well, I'm okay. gonna roll for stealth too, guy. Uh... <sighs> you got a 16. No. Where did you get? I got 23 for the prison cells. There are no such things around. Okay. Sorry, me. I tried to find prison cells for you to be in one of them. You wouldn't know that. Oh, you think that's how Ricky and uh, uh, um, what is the character? Oh. Spoiler alert: What happens is that Wiggy pops for a minute and turns two worms into humanoids, and they. Oh, there you go. There's the new characters. Oh, play it! Play it! Play it! Play it! Play it! <laughs> No, oh, no, we... no, and no, and no, and no. No. Okay, right. Um, we'll guys, this, um, I think we, we, we're lingering way too long here, talking a whole bunch no. of nonsense. T, mm -hmm. I need you to pull yourself together, okay? Mm -hmm. Be a part of this, the, 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 the group and, and stop distracting us, okay? T, are you listening? T? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing again? Right, okay, so we have an absent player, right? Minus XP for that, right? Um, Mr. Jim, just take a note there, so please. He faded away. Hold on, hold oh, on, bro. Jeez, 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 distracted at the moment. He's had a little bit too much tea. Uh <laughs> adult juice. <laughs> yeah, adult we, juice. We are going to proceed to... Mm. Going to stealth, right? So yes. I, I, yes. I rolled a twenty-six on stealth. Yes. So are we? Oh. But I can, I can just and go we're invisible, going, bro. I we're, can just go invisible, so it's fine. Yeah, well, you do that. Invisible, yeah, yeah I'll just go. Fuck, <laughs> okay, have... fuck, fuck you, XP. You can roll the stealth, bro. I'm just going to go invisible, bitches. <laughs> and we're gonna follow this individual and see where he goes with the extract of which he procured from Bob. The building uh, sure, you know, you know what? I'm going, I'm going, to, I'm going to go to one level higher, and I'm going to stealth while being invisible. Can I do such a thing, Mr. DM? If you want, <laughs> you have advantage. On your There's nothing role. stopping you. <laughs> yeah. So if, if there was any, if, there's nothing. Wow. Uh, I, I, I well, get it. Well, makes sense because even. 
So, so our role. Even if there was a creature that could see you invisible, invisibly, if you had to be stealth whilst invisible, that creature might struggle to see you if they have true sight. Okay. So, yeah, and that, uh, and as well as the noise, because when you stealth, you make less noise as well. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is, is while I'm invisible, I'm going to stealth, and I actually rolled an 18, and with my modifier, it's still an 18. <laughs> So, I, for my styles, I got a total of 14. So, to better that, I am casting Pass Without a Trace. Oh! That gives plus yeah. 10 to everybody's self. Oh, shit. So, I'm a fucking So, long as they are within a certain... 30 feet, I think. Area of... 30 feet, yeah. 30 feet of you, within 30 feet of My styles is 36, bruv. 36? 36. 36. 36. <laughs> Sometimes, thirty-six is a good number. That's such a South African joke, though. Right, one hundred percent, though. It, uh, I just had all gold on my fucking yeah. chips, Bruce. That's great. Yeah. Uh, but chips yeah. So, 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 so then my my start is twenty-eight. That's correct. Shit. Okay. Sorry. So we're following this guy now. And and we're I'm gonna invisible. see where he goes. Oh wait, hold on. I get a. We're gonna follow him very cautiously though. Yes. Like Sarah's mask person. <laughs> uh so if I get advantage. And I rolled again. Oh shit, tits, it actually fell on the fucking floor. Uh, which is great, because once it falls on my floor, it goes into the abyss of the unknown. Uh, <laughs> so I'll just roll another <laughs> d20. <laughs> see what you comes up. You don't have a modifier, it's oh, gonna be okay. very hard to beat that AC. So, 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 well, actually, I, and you I never can. never see it again. Because I can roll a net 20, <laughs> which it just did. So that's oh, great. Wow. <laughs> but now You've got 30 on your style. <laughs> yeah, so that's a 30, but now I just, I don't know what happened to my other dice that disappeared onto my floor. Why are you rolling again? Because I didn't want We're rolling for style? Because of some mobility you used. No, because I yeah, had yeah, uh, I was invisible. So if I was invisible, you said I had advantage in stealth, right? Yeah. yeah, we were supposed to go stealth and then invisible. Oh, uh, well. Well, I was... Because doesn't going into well, stealth after going invisible negate the invisibility? Well, listen... Damn. No, I... Don't so you're following this guy now. <laughs> I've, I've got a net right. 20 on my on my stealth, and I am fucking super invisible. Invisible. Really. So we can't see you. Uh, uh, you what did you get on you, your stealth? You, I walk. I walk you into tea. Have you so ever, with the plus 10 minus 25. Have you ever watched The Boys? In total. First season. I am the invisible cunt. <laughs> did we lose Anthony? Probably. Yeah. Not, not, not impossible though. I'm the invisible cunt. Okay, we, we heard you the first time. Oh, okay, my bad. Anthony uh, had major problems with his Wi Fi last night. But I'm so, so confused, I have no I idea what my house is. not that. Ah, okay, he's back. Back again. Guess who's back? Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. My one dice that I rolled has has just disappeared into the invisible realm. It has it has, it has rolled the net twenty and fucking disappeared. Did it roll for stealth? <laughs> yeah, it did indeed, good sir. And it is gone. <laughs> it is gone. Gareth, that dice. only means one thing. Yeah. You need to buy yourself a set. Oh, oh look at this entrepreneur. How weird. My weird. Okay, Mr. Dem, we're oh, waiting for no, you. We're waiting. Find it. Find it. Yeah, um, my Discord my just can, can just just. And I wonder if it's by my trash can because it rolled a six. So fuck that. <laughs> T, T. Yeah. I'm gonna ask you as as your group leader. Yeah. To shut the fuck up, man. We're trying to sneak. As my group leader. Fucking hell. That's good. Yes. Arrogant as fuck. Okay, so the party <laughs> starts to make their way up the staircase. Mm. That le that the individual in the purple robes came down. Mm. Okay. Ground's quite uh, 
smooth. Mm hmm. Okay. Um, smooth as in, like, just smooth or like just like, no, slippery smooth? Like, slippery smooth. Slippery smooth. Slippery smooth, yeah. A um, lot of water and other stuff has probably, over the years, it's basically. Um, like an ice cream? I wouldn't say ice per se, but it's basically made it very slippery to, to walk. So if you're walking on it, you're like going to have to really take your cautiously step so as not to slip and fall and hurt yourself. So like normal cave steps that are slippery because of um, dampness and... Yeah, but this is more... So the, from what you can tell, it's not real damp saying, per se on it. I was going to say, so you're basically saying the floor is moist. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> Moist. Okay. Moist. Yeah. So you guys follow this individual the purple robes. Oh yeah. Who eventually comes to a door. And he fumbles around this individual, should I say, fumbles around in the pockets for a few minutes. Takes out something. And who would be at the front of this group of people that were following the individual? Would Thank you say? You. Uh, I, I will I will okay. vote to be in front. Then so Nathan, you can roll me a perception check. Oh shit, I shouldn't have gone in front, guys. No, you shouldn't have gone in front, bro. But Do I get, considering that I'm, I'm next to invisible, would I not get a vantage point and get no, advantage? No, you would not. I was going to no. say, but, but, no, but no. considering your character, you should have a fairly good uh, perception. I'm yeah, just trying to is... add to it. Why would you do perception uh, checks? 18. Okay, so you see the, the, the hand goes into the pocket, pulls out a key, and as it puts the key into the lock, you notice that the hand is bony. Oh. It's what? Uh, bony. Bony. It's very, uh, bony. Um, very little like flesh skeleton. covering the say, hand. Oh, I was going to say. Yeah. Okay. It's not a skeleton. I was going to say. It's, it's not skeletal. No. Yeah, you mean malnourished? Very, very, uh, I wouldn't say malnourished. I'd say more... Oh? No, old. I wouldn't say old. I would say that Undead. in parts of the hand, there's flesh missing. So that's why the bone is sticking out. So very much undead, oh. good sir. Yes, did, we, did we venture into uh, a fight? Or... Not really undead, but... No, because it was undead. Uh... Oh, we got no paladins in the party, so it's okay. We've got, no, we got no clergy in the party, so that's also okay. We... But well, you could you could I, probably I assume like, he would with uh, or and probably uh, yeah, yeah, damage no, no, himself no, 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 or something. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but no, it's it's not My undead. It's just it, it, basically from what you can tell, it's like the flesh is like just rotted away around parts of the hand. Okay, I also take a look around the room. <sighs> okay, well, the room you're in is basically the door to this chamber. Yeah, uh, kind of, Sarah, but not like that, but yeah. Oh, so he hasn't got um, energy. Okay, okay, I'm with you. Yeah, no, he's, uh, he opens the door now, and he stepped inside it, and as he walks in, the room's pitch dark, so unless you have dark vision, you cannot see anything. Vision! Yeah, dude, I have devil's sight, so like, uh... I feel at home in the darkness, it's fine with me. Yeah. I don't uh, know. Yeah, Devil Sight, you can see normally in darkness, both magical and non-magical, to a distance of 120 feet. Okay. You step in, uh, you can follow him in. He walks to the middle of the room and stands on a triangular platform. And yeah. then he immediately drops to his knees. Uh-huh, yeah. And says, greetings, master. Aha. Uh -huh. And he's oh, his master. And a woman. voice booms out from the blackness and says, Skywalker. Why are we, <laughs> why are we behind on production schedule? Sorry, master. I've been having problems with the uh, abomination downstairs. He's still not pulling his weight. That is unacceptable. Hmm. You need to teach it a lesson immediately. He'll 
his mate immediately. Huh. Meta knowledge. It will be done, my master. Meta knowledge. I'm gonna. Yes. I'm gonna fuck yes. this up, bro. He's, he's threatening pop. Yeah, <laughs> true. Ah, uh, but I suppose uh, I can't really do much in game. I'm just like, oh, I've seen him. He's the the individual on the ground stands up <laughs> and walks forward. Yeah. Now you guys can. Those in the room can roll a perception. Yeah, that yeah, went 100%, in. Yeah. Because the room starts to light up a little bit now. Great. Well, that sucks. <laughs> no, that was wrong. Yeah. What is that? I don't know what that was. It, so, it, it's a beer roll. Seven one d twenties. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so did I'll Tink? Get... Did Nice and Tink? Nice. Yeah. Sorry. Let's hear the rolls. I get yeah. nineteen. Um... Tink. Oh. I have twenty-seven. Oh shit. Okay, Nathan? Nine. <laughs> okay. Uh, T? How much is your perception modifier? Nineteen. Five. And then, uh, Yun? Seven. Oh, uh, Yun got thirteen, okay, yeah. Uh, thirteen, yeah, plus seven, I said. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so what you notice is there's two doors, well, a set of double doors at the far end of the room. Um, the floor itself is also got a whole lot of diamond black patterns scattered around the, the floor. The, the individual that was kneeled on the one stands up and turns basically to exit the room that you guys just entered with him. Well, it's just... Is it the same uh, door that we to, th entered? Came in with it, yes, yes, yes. And it proceeds to exit the room. Okay, is there okay. any um um sh I'm, I'm 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 gonna move out of well is there any shadow areas in the background I can use? While yeah, there's plenty. You're gonna walk uh, although the room I'll is just... lit up now, there's like a lot of um shadow. you know gaps and that shadows from the torch sconces now that have basically lit the room up. So that's why I said you can actually make it out. What you can okay. also notice now, hanging from the roof, is two bird-like cages but huge ones okay mm -hmm. um there appears to be occupants in the cages okay interesting um i'm assuming that there is a mechanism that <laughs> a mechanism that would <laughs> let the cages descend <laughs> Yeah, on the one on the one wall, there's a there's a winch. How how far? Yeah. Oh, there is a winch. Okay. So so we have a problem here, guys. Right? Um, he's gone to Bob, Bob's partner, and we have two prisoners here that could give us further information, and we can search the room. So I'm gonna tell Yun, Yun, I'm following this guy. Can you follow him? Mm -hmm. We will, and then regroup when you find Bob's girlfriend. Try to figure out what he's doing with her. I hope it's nothing nasty. Nathan, quick question. What is the distance mm. on your psychic whispers again? Oh, it's it's far, bro. It's like 10 gigabytes per second. No, no. Uh, sorry. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, uh, realistically, I do need to know what the range on it is, please. Because you're going to make it like whatever I say plus, right? So I'm going to purposely no, say less. No, I need to... No, <laughs> just paste exactly what it is, please, without the base discussions and, and add-ons. It's far, dude. It's one mile. Oh, that is far. Okay. Mm, so I'm going to cast okay, now... Psychic Whispers on Yun, myself, uh, T, and um, and uh, our friend uh, uh, Tink. Tink, damn it. <laughs> close. Very close. Um, Very close. And, Please note, and, every, uh, mm. just, for, just, just for our viewers who are listening, should Nathan refer to Tink at any point in the remainder of this session as Laura Lett, said character will be losing XP and Tink will be gaining said lost XP. Oh, damn. Okay. Game on. Okay, so Mike, Mike, I'm, I'm 3k away from level 12. Mm, don't you confuse <laughs> me now. 
<laughs> okay. And I am also okay. including in the psychic whispers one of the occupants of said cages, and it's gonna be um the what appears to be the man, the threat, potential threat. I'm gonna walk up to the lever as I'm assuming Yun is already following this guy. Yeah, Yun's already, yeah. Remember, Yun is a monk, so his speed is very fast. Mm. You guys remember that, right? Right. And I am going to grab the lever that lowers the cages and I'll whisper into this individual's mind and say, hello there. If you see below you, that is I who can release you. I need to know why you're up there. And with that, Ricky, you may answer... Nathan, if you choose. Nice. I don't know the music. I don't know what his issue is. What's that? The dude didn't like my music. Tapped Your me music? Out. Are you a bard? Yeah, oh my god. She... Just having a good time. And this guy so... was like, nah, son. Gonna lock <laughs> you up. Who, who is the other one with you up there? No, nah, no. Nah, not a very talkative guy. Kind of rude. Interesting. Um, if I let you down, will you help us in our endeavors? We could use a bard. Can I play music? At the right time, yes. Fine. Cool. Then I, I <laughs> communicate with the other one. And I'll say, hey there. What's your story? Perched up on top there. What are you doing in here? Mm, I'm asking the same question. What are you doing in there? I was mining ore. <laughs> then they snuck up on me. Interesting. A man of opportunity. What is your speciality? Hmm? What Take is your speciality? You. Oh, that sounds awfully threatening. Uh, I don't know if I want to have any more risks, my friend. It won't be a risk to you. It'll be a risk to everybody else. That is against me. If you're against me, you shall suffer. Okay. Okay, serious fuck off vibes. Uh, <laughs> right, so here's the deal. I can let you down. I know that you're in this precarious situation, but puke. No luck of your own. Um, and I can set you free. But if I do so, I am giving you potentially life back, as you would probably rot up there and weather and die eventually. Who knows what he would have done to you? Maybe some nasty little things as well with them worms. So I'll let you free. You join my party. You'll have my protection, but in trust, you will protect us. As long as we get to kill that guy. Sounds fair enough. Um, right, I am going to start lowering them. Clink, 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 Throw a psychic dagger at each. Oh wait, never. No, fuck it. I'm I'm a rogue. Yo, I'll unlock them with with my pinky <laughs> Thank nail. Thank you. Okay. I'm like, oh, sorry. He's gonna go through this whole um brick morale just to pick a lock. Okay. Right. Right. Uh. Hmm. <laughs> nice. Uh, that is sir. Uh, what is it? Uh, sleight of hand. No. Yeah. Yeah, sleight of hand plus if do you have no, it's, uh, it's, it's a uh, thief's toolkit? It's literally yes. just a sleight of hand. So then you you add your proficiency to it. So yeah, it's a sleight of hand basically. I had my proficiency. Okay, it's it's way above thirty. Okay, you hear the familiar click sound on the first cage. Mm -hmm. While Nathan is doing that, what are T and Tink doing? Literally just... Oh, what? Tink's on Nathan's shoulder. Uh, okay, then T, what are you doing? 
So I'm still pretty much invisible with a plus 32 invisibility, and I am just watching this. And T is staring off into muted. the abyss. Okay, oh. cool. Yeah, that's what I said. He's T muted. is staring off into the abyss. <laughs> okay. Let us, uh, Yun, you following this individual who mm -hmm. arrives at another door, opens yes. the door, and you Bro, see it's I, I totally forgot basically that I was muted. perception. Hold on, I totally forgot that I was muted. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a Zoom error. That's not a D&D &D Discord error, you know? If you have a Zoom meeting, you have this whole fat conversation right. with people, and then only afterwards right. you realize you're muted. Right. Okay, so, so basically all I was saying was T is still invisible with a plus 32 stealth. And he's basically just watching what's going on around him. Okay, that's fine. That's good enough for now. Uh, you and I need that perception, please. Please do good. Please do good. Yeah, I'm good for the same. Ah, that's not bad. Ah, uh, 16's okay. Okay, so what happens is, as this individual opens the door, you basically see like a catwalk, okay? A uh, metal catwalk that is running mm -hmm. across a like a, a, a ravine or a crevice. If you look down, you can see a lot of molten ore. And I say oh. this one looks to be almost double the one that you found uh, previously. Um, okay. Yeah. And he's walking, oh. this individual is walking across the catwalk to the far side. Um, you can see oh. on the very far side of this catwalk is like a, a wheel that can be turned. Do I see anything, any movement in the ore or anything like that? Uh, your, your perception's too high. You'd have to do another one. Okay, let me your, try that. Your, I mean, sorry, your, I meant your perception's too low for that. I was going to say your perception's okay. too high. Okay. That means you overqualified. The yes, job. okay. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Ah, uh, yeah. The the, the 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 liquid is full of ore eaters. And there's no no no, no ore eaters different bigger than the others that no, I can see. No, no, not that you can tell. Yeah. Not that okay, then I'll tell. follow him. Still. Okay. See what he, he does. He stops at the wheel, wheel and he he turns the dials on the wheel. Yeah. And you watch as the the level in the, the the liquid level decreases quite substantially. Mm hmm Okay. Can I do an investigate? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, he, he pulled a lever, right? Yeah. He pull. He spun a wheel. He dials. Yeah. Oh, he spun a wheel. Can I do oh, a, a check to see? Um, it's. He, which way he it, turned it, also. it, it I would it, obviously it, my passive perception would know which way he turned it, so I will just take note of that. Yeah, he well. the, the the individual turned it to the right, when okay. the, the, to lower the level. This individual is now this turning is... the lever to the left to stop whatever it was was doing. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to prepare. Well, I have ability to cause silence, so I'm going to keep that ready. Okay. I was just going to see what, what he does oh. first. What does he get? What? You say he spanned the wheel. What does he get? Oh, for price. <laughs> he gets two, okay. two X health potions. <sighs> okay. Let's go back to the other group. Uh, Nathan, you release Ricky from the first class. Hi. I'm Nathan. This is Tink. And uh, there's two somewhere. Uh, yeah, somewhere. You're so cute. Hi. Oh, wow. Hello. Hello. I, will I like you. you already. Oh, oh, oh. I knew that. <laughs> You're cute too, but I mean, come now. Yeah, my ego will never survive this. And <laughs> you are? Ricky. Hi. Ricky. Ricky Reeks? Yeah. Tink. Hi. Hi, Tink. Yeah. Hi. Like said, There's tea somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. Tea. And you see a, a waiter to come with a tray full of beverages. Grab us some tea. Tea is a snake and he will eat you. Just be careful. 
Uh, sorry, uh, Tink, yeah. it's actually, it's actually, it's actually wrong to call them snakes. Um, you have to call them yuan tea. Yuan and teeth. just, you know, I know maybe you, you weren't aware that it's highly offensive to yes, call them yes. snakes. And, and, and just by the Never way... Never say the S word. Well, well, he tried to eat me, so he's a snake. Yeah. But but listen, he's a snake. And listen, and he's the fence. He never specified how. No, you you're invisible. You. We can't hear you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you're hiding. Well, unless you're planning you're to speak from, unless yeah. you're speaking from no, the, no, no, but like, the word, yeah. Me, me, meta knowledge. He never specified how he's going to plan to eat you. <laughs> oh. Saying, just oh. 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 So there you go. You see, <laughs> Jessica, confirmation <laughs> now for yourself. You are. <laughs> You can f on the menu. You, you have validation. I mean, I mean, like the UNT species cannot ha cannot have sex with another species, but there's nothing saying that the UNT species cannot pleasure another species. So I'm not, I'm no, saying. you said you bro, said bro, bro, she bro, can. Bro, 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 bro. That tongue works pretty well. Um, it's gonna go this is, somewhere very can I just say you're doing so? You're still like invisible unless you're unless you're talking in the group. Like honestly. Yeah. Okay. No, no, it's okay. Not, I move to the next one, and I say. Uh, just before you just, go, one moment. Mm -hmm. I just ask a clarification from the DM, if that's okay. Sure. Um, the DM uh, for the spell teleportation circle. Do I first need to create a permanent teleportation circle somewhere in order to teleport someone? Yes, okay? you would have to create, you would have to set it up first to basically create like okay. an anchor for your spell. Yes, that's correct. Could I please put one in the cage before I leave it? Wow, I didn't even think of that. Why? Why, mm. for if I may ask. future endeavors when I might want to put someone there. Ah, in other words, using it as a prison. Okay, okay that's mm. that's uh, thinking a bit out of the box. I like that idea a lot. Mm. Very much so. Considering the interesting thing about the cage and the reason why um, the two characters could not escape, it nullified any abilities while imprisoned in there. Oh, I remember Hence this cage. Why Hence why Ricky could not cast spells to free herself. Okay. Um, Nathan, I take it you're going to go... Someone yeah. coming in. I'm, I'm going yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's, no, 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 that's fine. Yeah, you need to... I'm going to release the, the, next, the, the next person. Must I roll for yes, his lock? Roll. Yes, please. Okay, that's... Uh, 27... <laughs> Thank you for the kiss. <laughs> you have the familiar click but sound. I am not the, unlocking the... it first. I must speak to my friend and say, listen here, aggressive friend of ours. Um, and not, 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 think, me. Think, not <laughs> you. I'm talking to the, in the cage. Just, <laughs> you know. um, He's talking to the bugbear. You cannot kill this individual until I get the information that I need from him. Is that understood? It sounds like we're torturing first here. It sounds like a flash. Oh, ah, oh, so you speak my language. Oh. Great. Well, well, what are you? You're a rogue? Are you, you know, what are you? Um, What's your, uh, what is your profession? I'm a ranger. I'm more... Actually, you would call yourself a scout. A scout. Ah. Yeah, the best way to, best way uh, to describe the character. I'll turn to Tink and be like, we, we kind of needed one of those like 10 minutes ago, but good to have you. Um, okay, and that, before we carry on, sorry, sorry, Mark, before we carry on, uh, D, give me the character's name, spell it for me. K-A-L-I-C-I-U-S. Calisius. 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 So I said Calisius. right, first round. Oh, yes. <laughs> and he's a ranger. Level, level 11, level 11. Uh, so you did uh, level. Yeah, I was level 11. AC 20. AC? Hit point 20. <coughs> hit point oh, 114. Oh. Hit. A quick point of clarification. How can we see 
them wait, wait, wait. Uh, <coughs> Sorry, um, Sarah, I'll be with you in a minute, just give me one second. Uh, hit points for Calicius. 114. 114. One, yeah. And what's... 18. 18, okay. Yes? Okay, yeah, sorry about that, sir. Now for clarity. Your mic my cutting off, eh? Yeah, my concern is they're in stealth. How, like, how well can I perceive no. them? And then two, considering they've let us go, we wouldn't be in stealth. So what would be the concern there? Okay. The thing is, because Nathan just opened your cages and freed you, he's not stealth anymore. And neither would he's be Tink. interacting with us. Okay, he's that's the first. With us. That's he's interacting, which means they're not hidden from your view anymore. Uh, the only person, individual that's currently still basically hidden is T. T, does where answer, are you? Does that answer your question? Yeah, yeah, I've got a good idea what's going on now, yeah. Okay, just, no, but it's, I understand, it's just, sorry that I interrupted you there, I was just needed to finish what I was doing with these character before we carry on again, so that's why I just oh. apologize for that, but I was in the middle of getting stuff, that's why I came back to you afterwards. So chill. You're not a power ranger. He's not a power ranger, Mike. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Let's. So. Oh. By the way, you also notice that, um, except for the clothes on the back, the bugbear and what race are you playing, uh, Sarah? Sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um, an air. I think it's Oh, Eganassi. Eganassi. Yeah. Ooh, nice. Eganassi. Nice, nice, nice. What does it look Something like? Something different. First one I've ever it's had in any of my. Yeah. yeah. It's essentially oh, a genie. Genassi. Genassi. Yeah. Elemental genie. I heard ergonas, ergonomic. That's what I heard. I ergonomic. heard it was okay, Eganassi. Uh, the elemental creatures, Eganassi. yeah. Yeah. A what? Very noble. Very noble. Elemental creatures. And oh, you're yeah. saying the, an air genasi. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Sorry, dude. So it's an they're, they're ele it's an elemental race, effectively. Yeah, because well, it's fire, water, and get a bunch of them. Yeah. And no, <laughs> it's not. Uh, why? It's not why a Texas Ranger. Genassi? The closest would be Jessica's pic Tink's picture. Would be the closest to the bugbear, except it would be a hell of a huge creature dressed in similar cloth clothing. Okay. Does he kind of look like Mike, though? Mm, very... If you, if you stretch your imagination a bit, maybe. Hey, hey, stop stretching anything in your imaginations with me. Okay. Um, yeah, I see we've got... People okay. are camera shy at the moment. Um... As I said, they've got no equipment whatsoever when you free them from their confines. Okay. Um, can I... Can I... Yeah. Look in my bag have, of... Have Wait, you opened no. the cage? Have You haven't opened my cages yeah. yet. Yeah, yeah, I have. I he, hasn't, have. he hasn't let you yeah. out yet. Yeah. Ugh. No, I have. I said I did. I opened no, it. Okay. No, no, as... oh, did you? Did you? Yeah. As soon as he opens okay. the cage, I, and I step out, uh, I get swarmed up. by, by pixies. So I have the pixies. swarm of pixies flying around me. <laughs> I was rogue <broke> burning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they oh, fly out of all the corners. <laughs> he is like, bro, this is fucking amazing, dude. This is pixies. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So I say, whoa, 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 what is tiny, going on? Tiny, tink, tiny. Tink, Tink, what is happening? He has pixies. I want They're one. My little friends. Are they friendly? Are they, f they are, are they? I like you see a fan of knives pop out of Nathan's hands. Uh, you can try and kill, kill them, them. won't work. Kill them. Kill them. I need pixie wings. More of them will come. Oh. More of them will come. <laughs> Fuck it, give my knives away. Yeah. Give me pixie wings, bro. Fuck it. Uh, I, I, T, I... roll for me a perception. Now you have to make me fucking get out of bed to roll perception. 
He's in bed. Oh, bro. <laughs> you told you to get in bed! <laughs> so that's why... I am absolutely smashed, like, start like the... No, it's, uh... That is not good. That is a 15 on perception. Ah, it's actually good enough to see a second winch next to the first winch. There's a winch? Bro, I'm just like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, Eva. T, T's, T's just like, bro, something's fucking up with this shit, bro. Like, nay, I'm, I'm done, bro. I'm done. What, when, when did, when, when did T come from El Dorado Park, bro? Bra, you know yeah. what I'm saying, bro? Like, T's like putting his bruh. gets away. Yeah, bro. Like, T's like putting his gets away and be like, nay, homie. <laughs> something's not right with these oaks, bro. Night. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look over to, to this guy in front of me, he hasn't introduced himself yet. Who? Nah. The guy. He <laughs> also notices that, it, also for, for, for uh, Calicius's, uh point of view, it looks quite weird. He has this person and it's got, like almost strapped to his left shoulder, a gnome. A minuscule gnome. <laughs> Yeah, a very small yes. though. Uh, I, I, I summon one of my pixies to go and sit on the gnome shoulder just to see the size difference. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's a pixie on a gnome a one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I um, whacked pixie off. <laughs> she's I whacking. am going to... I'm going to put my hand to my ear. And be like, Yun, Yun, do you copy? Yun, do you yeah, copy? Yeah. Oh, what's oh, copy? Oh, oh, I know what he's what's doing. Copy? I know what he's doing. It, it, <laughs> That's an adventurous <laughs> move, bitch. That's an adventurous move. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What, what just happened? <laughs> It's, oh, like, yeah. it's, 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 it's for it's, for the briefest of second there we had the fourth wall breached. Sorry, it's it's the Avengers <laughs> move in the Avengers in game when Captain America puts his 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 entries yeah, and he has a on your left. Yeah, he goes on your left. Uh, yeah. What do you see, Yun? Can you tell me what's going on your side? Uh, well, he's moved some mechanisms. I'm trying to see if I can find. So dark, Barbara. So. Any sign yeah. of Barbara? Not yet. Okay. Uh, can, carry can, on. Can, can, we're can, we're can, making can, a way to you. Can you and T just do a general inspection around the area that he's in? Yeah. I found the second lever. Okay, can, can, can the you and T? Yeah, I found Is there a table? Thing? Can T just do no, a fucking inspection? Where you guys are, no, there's no table. Oh, Jesus there God. is a another pissed. winch next to the one that you've just used. I am way too pissed for this shit, bro. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm waiting for T to do something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold yeah. on. T needs to fucking check what he's in uh, his uh, investigation. Is. Oh, never mind. It's fucking terrible. <laughs> Let's have a look at what. Oh, shit. That went so far. Uh, 17. Good, sir. Oh, investigation on the on this this winch. No, just uh, investigation of the general area that he's in. He's a mighty but, uh, fine sure, winch. Inc include the winch in, uh, involved. Oh no, I okay. see the game that you. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I only got it now. Yeah, me too, Jess. I just saw it now and realised that. I actually thought he was referring to Tink, but okay. No, I, I thought he was referring to the pixie that came and tried to sit on my shoulder before That's I swapped it off. That's the same thing. I didn't know Get he was talking my... about the actual winch. <laughs> Get to my <laughs> level, guys. <laughs> okay, uh, you know, some people do are a bit tired, have had long days, you know. Yes. Okay. okay, so so, um, so basically you see this other, I'm getting to T's description, you see this other winch, plus you see the double doors at the one side of the room. You also see the triangle that the individual was kneeling on originally, and you see the exit that you guys came in originally as well. So there were two doors. Other than that, the double door to the north of where oh, you are currently. Door. Double door, yeah. So there's no other doors? Uh, other than the one you guys entered through originally. 
you guys came in through the bottom, the middle of the room, then the top is the double doors. Ah, no, I'm just just checking. Okay. We have a Dumbledore? No. Listen, okay. listen. So, okay, uh, 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 do I need to wait for T to do something or are we actually going to play? Well, I What's mean, uh, I I I what, what do you mean, bro? I, I got a... What, what was my score? Like a bro, six. stop inspecting your stick and touch it already. Like, we're we, we, like all like waiting. Sure, why not? I fuck, I pull the fucking le lever, bro. I fuck, I do it. I do it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, T I'm just gonna answer. T Verna rolls a the, new character. Don't stream. worry. Because fucking. Yeah. Uh, Verna, a... that's fine. Cool. Thanks. You know what's gonna happen? Okay. It's gonna show Barbara. Okay. So there's a. Uh, as she starts to pull it, you lower it down a chest. I lower down ground. a chain. A, ch a chest. Mimic. Yeah. I. If I, this is. I fucking immediately, immediately, without even hesitations, gives her. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think I have a spot for oh, this. By the way, <laughs> no. Well, technically, you would be furthest away from the chest. <laughs> when T lowered the plate with the winch, he became visible to everybody. Oh God damn it! So we oh, see that, uh, and we see the chest coming down. Ah oh, shit! And I, I say, well done, T. Oh. That's one way to dunk them bags. Yes. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. DM, I hope this is not your way of introducing a mimic finally after all these years. Um, uh, I love what we... you did that with the dunking of the bag and the tea and the... I got that one. We're... <laughs> we... We we are going to approach this chest. No, no, no. Uh, so it's so as, 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 as that fucking shit comes down, bro. <laughs> as I see this chest, yeah. I am like, fuck this infestation. Uh... Because fuck me, I am too pissed to give a shit. So uh, I am going to cast Infestation, which does this. It's got my stuff in it, guys. Don't, Don't do give that. A fuck what it's got in it, bro. Fuck <laughs> it. What are you doing, dude? Uh, a cloud of mites, fleas, and other parasites to appear momentarily on one creature you can see within range. The target so who are you casting those. it on? On the fucking what chest. What creature are you casting it on? On the chest, just for in case. Oh, you're casting the chest. One hundred percent. It's just not a case. creature. Okay. So just you, in case it's a mimic. You guys watch as a swarm of a mimic. A mimic would mites and whatever floating hold around on, the on. the chest. Okay. Hold on. Would a mimic <laughs> not be considered a creature? We don't know. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. We could do with a pet mimic. No, but 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 a mimic would be a creature, right? Yes, yes. Uh, okay, uh, I'm giving that to you. Yes, it would be. Okay. So you guys uh, now have this chest with all these cr these things flying around it. Okay. Like and if it's and, and and if it's if it's a creature, <laughs> no, it must no, we're not sure. It must succeed on the constitution constitution saving throw. Oh, well, I I was Otherwise, it takes one. Okay, so nothing. Um, <laughs> I don't need to roll a constitution save because this is no creature on there the chest go. or by the there chest. There we go. Is not a creature. So there we go. I'm fucking happy with that. Uh, then we're like, I oh, well, the guys, open. it's just a fucking chest, okay. guys. As you kick the chest open, a whole lot of uh, equipment falls out. There armor, some yeah. swords and stuff. Uh, basically, yeah. Ricky and Calisius' equipment yeah. is now landing Wait a minute. Uh, is it I safe for me to assume that Ricky and Calisius were naked? No. We uh, no, just in normal clothes, not naked. Oh, okay. I was going like to say... Cloth. Yeah. Line clouds, there's no, still, there's still provocative. Creatures and stuff like stuff. that, yeah. Yeah, grab they can start kitting themselves. Out. Yeah, okay. While you guys are doing that, let's go back to Mr. Yun. <laughs> okay, so you, you, as I said, you're still finding this individual. This individual uh, walks <clears> past <throat> the wheel that he, that, that what was just rotated and used, comes to another uh, staircase, which goes down a little bit. The individual can okay. walk down a little bit and comes to another door. Okay, I'll follow him still. Okay. Keep to your shadows yeah, where I can. Uh, <laughs> he gets to the door. He, the, the individual takes out a key. Mm -hmm. uh, again, you can see the individual as it unlocks the door. Steps through, opens the door and walks through and starts closing the door 
behind the individual. As he tries to close, I'm going to just uh, try and make a quick, quick perception or any, if I can teleport inside. Because we can go please, up to 60 please tell, me, uh, please tell me you put your foot... Bro, monk, you could probably dash in with ease. Yeah. And teleport yeah. to shadows. Yeah, exactly. So And you, actually you can make, make yourself in invisible. Yeah. You can actually make it inside the area with ease as the individual closes the door and locks it from the side. Uh-huh. Okay, um, you now can roll me a hearing perception. Have you right. don't hear anything. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, um, the indivi this individual walks over to what appears to be an anvil of sorts. Okay, now it's time to make a decision. Then starts, um, pulls some stuff, uh, puts on some gloves and a whole lot of other stuff. And you see there's a whole lot of molds on the table next to the individual. Uh -huh. And the individual grabs a set of uh, ore handling equipment with the gloves and proceeds to start to pour ore into the molds. So I could probably assume he's trying to make some, do something with a weapon or, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, do you keep watching? Yes. Okay. You notice halfway through the process, the individual stops, takes mm -hmm. out the vial that was used to, that was used to collect something from Bob. Yeah, his saliva or something, yes. Yeah, and adds it to the mixture. Okay. Um, so I can see what it does. Would you say, yeah, how, that's what I'm asking. How close would you be getting now to this? I would probably be, I would say, yeah, 10 feet maybe from him. Still in the, still in the shadows, obviously, to keep your, yourself. Yeah, because right. I stay there, I can, I can, I can be invisible. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, you notice that the, as I said before, ore in its raw state is very uh, opaque, so it's not see-through or anything like that. Okay. With the substance that the individual adds to the ore mixture, it starts changing colors. I'll try and make note of those colors. Yeah, it goes through like a rainbow pattern of colors before it goes um, clear. The liquid goes very clear. The all liquid goes long. very clear after that. Yeah. You can definitely see anything. The individual then uh, waits for the waits for the liquid to cool and takes off the ore handling gear and picks up the mold with bare hand. Okay. Okay. Pulls out a sack and drops it into the sack. You see now if you look carefully around the room. There's quite a few of these such sacks. Most of them are full to the top. You can see clearly. Individual then stands up, turns not to the entrance that it came in, goes to a curtain, opens the curtain, and opens the door. And as it walks into the the next room, oh. sus yeah, yeah sus suspended from the air in the next room is a creature on some ropes and cables. Okay. Now, never then. Um, I used to <laughs> key points to um, cast silence. Okay, I need to just read up something. Okay. Sorry, Same well, a it's... creature was suspended in the air, just to make sure. It was not a worm. Yes. A creature. Give me a second. I'm playing it as you would be too nervous in case it is Bob's partner. It's that fanboy effect from last week. He's still... He doesn't want to disappoint his, 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 his grandfather. Oh, 
Holy shit! Oh! Quite potent little spell. I mean, I've seen it before, but shoo! Okay. That helps. You cast silence, then what? Okay, so what is this creature I can smike out that's hanging there? It looks to be like a lizard, but a rather huge ass lizard. It's probably between eight or nine feet in size. Well, I guess I can I can deduct it could be Barbara. I have no idea, but I gotta I guess I'm gonna have to stop whatever he's trying to do. <laughs> Yeah, what are you doing again? Okay, I'm gonna whatever action he tries to take. That's that's gonna. I, I'm I, I'm going to interpret as being, you know, uh, trying to attack the creature or anything. I'm gonna intercept him. Okay. Are you right there, Jess? <laughs> What's wrong? Mike messing with you again. Oh, God, I see it now. My son, <laughs> <so> you man. <laughs> Too cool. <laughs> I wanted to say about me when I noticed that immediately. The... <laughs> I noticed that I'm immediately. Fo I'm focusing on the game, people. I'm not worried about yep. people putting gifts up. <laughs> that lizard okay. has game. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you yeah, yeah. Uh, you, your, your silent spell goes off. Okay. Now what? So like I said... So, I have a theory. <sighs> well, I can't use the inside check, so I'm going to assume that might be... Bob's... Uh, Bob's mate, I have no idea. <coughs> so like I said, is if it looks like he's going to do anything offensive, try to attack the creature, I'm going to intercept him. Okay. The individual walks and basically runs... It's fingers across the bottom of this giant lizard. The oh, what's the lizard's like, reaction? Uh, it twitches a little bit, and next thing, a I whole attack. lot of eggs fall to the. Uh, should I attack? Uh, okay, so I'll keep watch still. Oh, this is taking. Yeah. This is writing. <laughs> a, whole think... of, a whole lot of eggs drop to the ground. Mm -hmm. Okay. Eggs. The individual goes and gathers up the eggs, and then Ooh. proceeds to exit the room uh, from the this guy. end with the eggs. Yeah. Do I follow? Okay. Let's get back to the other guys. How far right. have you travelled already? Oh, he's no idea. far from you guys. <laughs> he's not a mile, but he is far. Back with the group. Oh. What are you guys doing? Excellent. Um, I'm, um, I'm going to uh, ask this guy in front of me. Do you want me to follow your friend? You're very sharp or... there. You get, sorry, you're going to ask? Do you want me to follow your little friend that went after the guy? We are all going to follow him now. Um, so let's, let's I can make our way. Can you, can you track him? Did he is it not a passage? I mean, it's. And I'm assuming it's just the prince. Uh, who, who, who would or have? Yun or the gentleman? The other guy would have. Yun would probably be teleporting like in between spaces and stuff. Yun, you would not see any tracks whatsoever, and the individual left no tracks as well. No tracks. Oh. Okay. No tracks. So he was not Yes. So, because we want to follow Yun, if I say not locate animal or plants, or locate creature, either or, 
it, I can track Yun with that spell. But Yun is not a creature, Yun is not an animal, Yun is not a plant. Well, would not a humanoid be considered a creature by definition? A humanoid is a creature by definition. <laughs> Yo, you okay. just got fucking eyes. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just asking, like, you know, this guy, unless, unless you tell me he's not sorry. a creature, and that's sorry. why we should be worried. Mm. Uh, yeah, sorry. Uh, everything, well. is taking, everything is taken to a creature. Okay, exactly. so then you're gonna cast it. It's not it. called. Tink? Yeah. Tink, are you gonna cast it then? Yes, I cast like a creature, and I cast it to find Yun. Okay. Great stuff. Uh, Ricky and Calisius, are you going but to Can we just these... acknowledge the fact that we just completely disregarded the fact that a ranger offered to track <laughs> our friend and we still casted a spell <laughs> for our friend? He, there was no tracks. That's why I casted oh, the uh, spell. Okay, okay. Uh, sorry, so can, tells uh, me that... can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. very. Okay. It's it's We're not as clear. wait. Hold, whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. It's not as clear as it was earlier. You're oh. getting a lot of static. Sorry, you're I'll rephrase. Almost out of range. You can you, me, you, we, wait, can, Ming now. Okay, so fair enough. It sounds like he's saying they're on the way. So apparently we are on the MTN broad broadband. Let's go. <laughs> I MTN <have to laughs> broadband. <laughs> or or Mweb broadband. No, Mweb. Yeah, <laughs> true. Off last night. Yo, oh, that pissed me off yeah. last night. Let's go, guys. Let's go. There's people waiting okay. for us to get to the so, next level. Uh, Tink, you would need to effectively direct Nathan, seeing you are sitting on Nathan. Um, sorry, we do Cal and Ricky, are they joining with you guys? What's the story yeah. here? They're with us, remember? Yeah. We set them free. logical way of escaping other than joining them until they leave? No clear way of escape. Um, what I'm trying to say. Well, there's the double doors that no one's explored that you could go through those if you choose to. Double doors? Yeah. Tease you did like, say that because I made a Dumbledore joke. Tease like, okay. Tease like, fuck it, I'm going through the double doors, bitches. <laughs> okay, um, so T opens the dub double doors and you see a whole lot of catwalks over another ore dam. Yeah. Oh, oh, no, fuck it, I'm not. Like no, 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 you know what? No. I'd rather stick let's... with them. Yep. Hold on, let's hold on, Gareth. Just... So, sorry, yeah, Ricky, let's, say let's, that uh, again. Ricky, say that again. Um, so, considering what's behind the door, um, I'm going to probably stick with them until I see a clear escape. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> so, Ricky is basically in it for survival at the moment. And partnering with the rest of the like companions is a good idea. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Cal? I'm here for revenge. And the order okay. you try to steal. <laughs> well, mine. I will not find. Steal. <laughs> I will steal. Okay. okay, so I assume, T, are you taking along? Y yeah, like if you said there's just one catwalk, I'd be like, fuck it, I'll take it. But you said there's multiple. So I'm like, fuck that. I'm going yeah. to stick with these oaks. <laughs> Considering that this party <laughs> hates ledges and tightrope walking. Nah, fuck that, dude. This is fact. Yeah. Uh, ain't no Nicolas Cage and fucking timeline thingy. No, fuck that, dude. Okay. Uh, you guys start following... Um, Thank you, next. <laughs> Tink's <laughs> there the go. directions. Thank you very much. Thank you. Tink, roll for me a survival check with advantage. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. Th th thanks. Thanks for the movie reference. I couldn't remember the movie. Uh, it was not a movie, and it was not just a movie. It was a song as well. Uh, um, with advantage, that's eighteen plus seven. Twenty. 
25. Okay. Yeah, so you make your way. Uh, first, you come through. Um, you, you reach the, the steps leading down that um, you followed. Uh, mm -hmm. Coming across this narrow walkway over the. Uh, what a... <sighs> <With the... laughs> I wrote she doesn't anything have a now. bell anyway. I she doesn't have I... a bell anyway, though, Mike. Well, at least you got a mess, dude. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, you basically follow the, the route that you took. Uh, coming across the wheel, which you can clearly see. Uh, you also can tell you're going to get a lot closer to him. Um, you then come to the the locked door. Oh, so That's the door that the guy <laughs> locked from the locked. inside. Locked from the inside, correct. Oh it appears to be locked. No shit, you're locked. Well it would be a shame <laughs> if we if we had um if we had somebody that can open locks. Oh yeah, don't know? unlock it. But but how could you lock something that's locked from inside? While these two are having a discussion, I am picking the lock. Okay, Please but, do. But is it not like one of those bathroom locks that? In the that's a uh, sixteen. No, I use the key. That only have the latch on the inside. Ah, uh, you fail to unlock the door. Um, it would be shame if a bard didn't have a spell that can unlock the door. Knock. I am looking uh, but for something. Oh, what about it's you have tea? It's the spell knock. <laughs> tea is just like, fuck this. Jeez, the bird, guys. The, the bird, Why don't you just flat out say, uh, listen, uh, Ricky, do you perhaps happen to have something that can open a door? No, no. no. Do your no. job, Ricky. The rogue and already fell at ease. Anthony, I'm going to is unlock it. Is door made of metal at any chance, or is it...? No, it's wood. It's a wooden door. Pure, pure wood. Yeah, well, very um, interesting type of wood. Uh, Cal, you oh, said you're going to do okay. what? You're going to unlock I, the door? I, I'm going to change into a gaseous form, go onto the other side, and then unlock it from the other side. <laughs> what is that smell? I, no. I can <laughs> change so into gaseous form. Yeah. Yeah. So you turn into gas and you go through the lock and reform on the other side. Yeah. Reform on Can the other side. And then I uh, unlock what? the door. Hmm? Okay, but there's no way to... How are you doing it with what? Is... Oh. It, oh, uh, I thought it was a latch. Oh, it's a key. Okay, I'm going to... Yeah, the guy still has a key. Fuck this, it? bro. Okay. T comes in I and then fucking... And he kicks the door. Fuck can it. I, as a rogue, can I suggest another alternative? Because you can't, Captain. I might have failed to unlock the door, but it's a door, so it has hinges. Mm. And most people overlook the hinges that holds the door. So I'm going to try to pick the hinges. May I roll for that? Okay, I'm just going to carry on yes, walking shoot. down the passageway in the meantime. <laughs> yeah, uh... <laughs> <laughs> you pass the... The workbench that okay. the guy was sitting at. Okay. Is the door that yeah. they went through opened or closed? Or is there doors? There's another door that... Uh, it's... Uh, you didn't open. Say you, you didn't, you didn't yeah. specify whether it's locked or open, so... Okay. Mm. Uh, I'm... So I'll have we gotten someone on the other side yet, or not? Uh, I'm on the other side. <laughs> nah, he's on the other side. Cal is on the other side. Cal is on the other side. Cal, roll for me a perception. Okay. Uh, that's a 19 plus 8 is 27. First you enroll off. your stealth? Sarah? Yeah. I don't know if you have your bot spell list with you or not. I do. I was considering dimension door, but no, don't, really don't have someone no, no. Um, yeah, door to see where you're going. Yeah. Do you have the spell knock? No. Uh, Kel, you can see in the shadows near where you are is Yun. 
I did see him come in with the group the last time, or and they were talking. To no, him. I don't think you. Maybe. No, you left, wouldn't maybe. have. I uh, wouldn't would have. Too high at. Oh, yeah. Okay. Jess, do you want me hmm. to send you my character sheet so you can see what I have? No, no, no. It's just if you had the spell knock, you can just cast it and it opens the door immediately. No, and I any other do doors that. within a, any other locked devices within a certain area of effect. Mm. Um, yeah, I I'm gonna that. like. I'm gonna go. Pss, pss, and try and get this guy's attention. <laughs> Is this sound? I'll look at him. I'll just show. Quiet. <laughs> What's going he on? He does this. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Gives me an idea. Gives me an idea, Mike. Oh God, no! Just tell, tell T to run at the door. Yeah, I'm going to fucking run at the yeah. door. Bro. I'm just going to fucking kick in the door, bitch. I'll probably have to do an inside check on this guy. Try and figure out. <laughs> tell you doing here? Inside on the the back bear. Yeah. Series. Okay. He doesn't seem to be a threat, a threat, but I'm just um making sure he is no. I don't get any vibes from him. This is a picture tea break in the door. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> his snake. The head is the strongest part of the snake. <laughs> Twenty six. <laughs> Uh, oh. you and you, you get the feeling that this individual is on the up and up. Up and up, cool. Yeah. And I'll just point at the direction of where I can see the other guy, where he still is, obviously. Obviously, you would have noted him as well, I would guess. Didn't he walk out the other door? No, I was following him all the way. No, he was following the whole way. Okay, okay. I, I am I am going to call back uh, often, you and... And say, so, Jürgen, can, can you hear me now? It's a lot clearer now. Clearly, yes. Uh, have you found Bob's mate? Well, we found some other lizard creature that deposited eggs, but I'm not, I can't be, I'm not sure if it's, but no, not yet officially. I'm not, I don't think so. Okay, I think it's best you... I'm still following him. Uh... I would say maybe make your way back to us and we, we carry on together because we kind of stuck between a door and a hard place. Mm, I understand why, but um, I'm going to stick close to him just in case we don't make it in time. At least I can buy you guys some time. Okay. I'll follow you. Okay, back to the group. T <laughs> said he's charging at the door. 100% oh. good sir. Am I correct, Aerith? Fuck yeah. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Roll for me a Done strength, it strength check. Done it already, boy. It's a 19. Let's fucking go. No modifiers. I rolled a 19. Let's go. You guys watch as T backs up and starts charging at the door. Runs into the door and bounces right off the door and lands <laughs> flat on his back. Fuck you. Uh, oh, that damage, son. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> you take 10 damage. points of bludgeoning damage for your trouble as well. Yo, you little <laughs> bitch, motherfucker. 10 points. Yeah, no, I'm going to point to him. I am going to do I'm the unthinkable, considering that I am I'll fully aware of the firebolt. Quantum <laughs> You cast it fire bolt to the door. No, I'm joking. I'm fucking no, right no, no. Okay. Right, like, so I'm, 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 I'm see, just like, I'm see, laying there like out of breath going. <gasps> I see T right, running right. to the door and smash it, right? And uh, he can't get through it. So what I proceed to do is knowing the required quantity is by now I would have plenty ample experience without blowing up the whole fucking place. Is take oh, some of that no. lovely ore dust. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! And oh, put no. it in oh, the no. keyhole. No fire! Less, no fire. Less, yes. oh, no. less than a pinch. Less than a pinch. <laughs> like a fucking and to like make a sure. <laughs> to make sure that it doesn't, it doesn't blow up. I put a little bit of cloth around <laughs> it, just just so they can no. catch the cloth on fire and melt the door, like 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 um, uh, what do you call it? Um, no. It's, bro, it's, it's like it's like two 
dusts like like literally like it'll be like putting <laughs> said salt on it like no fire we said no fire you know yeah I think wait, a a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wait a second. Wait a second. I've got a question. Mm-hmm. I've got a question. Mm-hmm. The door hinges. Mm-hmm. Right? I tried that, but are... no one let me. No, no, do no, no, it, no. So... Are they. Are the door hinges or the lock? Is either of them metal? Yes. Yes. So, if. I cast heat metal, wouldn't I just melt the lock right off? Yep. Doesn't melt it. Yeah, you Does should it do it. Oh. You are dishing. Fuck. <coughs> don't you know how to play D&D, bro? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, but the, do we explode or do we do the spell? Do the spell. Okay. Yeah, the dust I, can be a little bit volatile. No. I I cast heat metal on the door hinges to melt them. Okay. So you cast the spell heat metal. The hinges get exceptionally hot. Very very hot. Nothing seems to happen. Nothing seems to happen. No, not, no. Did you say things you or nothing? Nothing. Nothing seems okay. to happen. Everybody's had a go. I am going to, open. one last time, try to unlock the door. Uh, okay. Okay. One last time. You do it, Captain. Captain Courageous. That is... Uh, 35. <laughs> okay, you hear a distinctive click sound as the lock disengages. A fucking door, guys. A door. <laughs> you shut your fucking whole mouth, boy. I, this entire party of adventures, I'm just saying, we were stopped and trumped by a door. Not today, I say, for Nathan Valorant is my name. Nathan? Nathan yes. Valorant? If there was a certain other small creature on your right shoulder, she had the spell knock. I don't know which creature you refer to. Name? We'll what was that creature's name? <laughs> okay, but now, um, Cal, you've passing by the suspended creature. Uh, below it, nice. which unit stopped by. Rest of the group okay. starts. You guys have now entered the the workshop. The other four. I'm going to cast because I actually do have a fucking spell for this. So fuck you, Oaks. That's, uh, oh jeez, bro. Uh, We're just trying to get shut, to Bob's girlfriend, shut man. Shut your whole mind. All right, and I'm going to cast uh, awakened mind, which you can communicate to the telepathic- telepathically. Oh my god, bro, don't drink the town's water. It's got it's got secret agents in it. I'm so woke right you now. Sh- oh, sh- shut your The kingdom's fucking... trying to control its people. <laughs> you your... you Sorry, Gareth, <laughs> try that again. Okay, okay. What does it do? I'm going to paste it because I'm... We're yeah. woke now, bro. Bro, listen. Shit, motherfucker. I will paste what I'm going to paste, and I'm going to paste this. Hiya! Okay, work in mind, you can communicate telepathically. Oh, sweet Jesus, okay. Uh, you can communicate telepathically with any creature you can see within 30 feet. You don't need to understand a language with the, with the creature for it to understand your telepathic utterance. But the creature must be able to understand at least one language. And I'm going to can ask. Can I ask you what creature you're casting this on? Yes, I am a casting it on the suspended creature that looks like a. Well, we're, we're not, not there, there yet. yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> we're not there yet. <laughs> That's literally Where what I said. But before. didn't we just didn't we just say we passed? Past no, the I said literally. Can we oh, you're in creature. the workshop. Ah, oh, sweet Jesus. I am there. Cal <laughs> is below the creature. On the other side of the creature is at the far side of the Yun. creature is Yun. Ah, oh, I, 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 I don't fucking I don't know. Then then I give up. <laughs> 
Sorry, <laughs> that, no offense, babe, but I think you're a bit out of it tonight. <laughs> you listen, I thought you were all here. You, sh you, you shut your mouth, boys. Okay, okay. Uh, and he had to choose tonight when somebody's listening. <laughs> Everybody's a yeah. <laughs> We add to the ambience. I've lost another dice. Oh, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. Oh, jeez. He's going to finish this game, and tomorrow morning he's going to have a whole lot of dice on the ground. Bro, you have no idea. Yeah. Hopefully okay. he remembers it's on the ground and doesn't step on them. No, it's not a D4. Oh, it's a D4. It's going to be so hard. Yeah, I was going to say, I've got, I don't oh, think it's a D4. It's only, if he had shop, if, only if he had shopped HD4s. Because I've shop it. Oh, ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Because yeah. ouch. I've shop it. Anyway, I, I like the green and gold and the Coca Cola, by the way. Uh, Thank Coke. you. <laughs> no, no, not the white stuff that you snort. No, the yeah, stuff no. that you drink. I mean, Coca -Cola, yeah. No, I've got something in my fridge. Are we taking a five minute break or are we still going to push through it? Well, it's it's, um, it's it's almost it's after ten, dude. So let's just fucking push through, bro. Yeah, just push through. Yeah, we started through. at eight thirty. So we'll yeah, push. bro. Like, yeah, push. push. We can push a little bit still. Mm. <laughs> okay, so as I said, think Nathan, uh, Ricky, and T are now in the workshop. So we're not still we're still not near the creature. God damn it. No. So, um, can I roll a perception for them baggies? You can? Ooh, 14 plus my perception, I think, is 7, so that's 21. Okay, what are you trying to... You can see a lot of these bags. <laughs> I'm, I'm swiping one of the bags. What's okay, in the bag? you... Whoa. You pick up one of the bags. Um, Wait, what the, what's how? the size of the bag? And is she yeah. going onto the floor to do it? <laughs> okay, so the bag is the same size as Tink, first of all, the, the bag sizes. Okay. Tink, you attempt to lift one of the bags up. Get away. I'm a I'm a strong girl. I'm a I strong take girl. It to, I assume you climbed off Nathan to go lift one of the bags up. Yeah. Okay. You walk over I to one of the bags. Struggling. And I assume. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Ricky, no, go my, up to the my, bag. My, my carrying capacity is 210, so... <clears throat> so what's okay. the speed going to be? I try to pick up one of the bags. Okay, roll for me a straight, just a straightforward strength check. So it's just your uh, strength modifier to a d20 roll. Okay, that, my friends, is a fucking natural 20. Yay. Yes. Plus two. Okay. Very nice. The sack don't move. Can I help you, little one? Uh, no, it's fine. I look into the bag and I take one of the clear pieces of stuff out. Roll for me a strength check. <laughs> how can, how can one piece of ore be that freaking heavy? Mark, how big does an ore ingot weigh? Uh, a lot. It, I think... Nathan could only ever carry one, and it was like. No, he could probably carry. That was two. it. Because flat, flat carry. You two. were able to carry two, if I remember. You were keeping one in your pocket or something. Oh yes, I was only able to carry two. It's like carrying, yeah, and they're tiny. What's your carrying capacity? My it doesn't carrying... matter what the carrying capacity. It's what. Well, it's pretty massive is. considering I'm carrying the party on me. I'm joking, I'm joking. Uh, Jeez, someone's very, he's very he's big of themselves, eh? Guys, I think we should kill he Nathan just tiny. to make sure that he realizes his place in this world. Let's go. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe somebody 19. needs to explain. 19. Mm -hmm. uh, you managed to lift one of the ingots out of the pack, out of the bag. 
Um, and you do uh, notice that it's quite... Actually, for Tink, it would be damn heavy. You're like, mm. pick it out of the sack and it's like, pull, like, pulls you back to the ground nearly. That's how heavy it is. Like a jolt. Uh-huh. Huh. Now, if memory serves me right, it wouldn't be a good idea to put this in a bag of holding. You can if you want to. <laughs> mm. So inviting. Nice. Is your house made of candy? <laughs> it's a little Hansel and Gretel's joke. <laughs> no, no, I get it. I get it. I got it as well. Uh, okay, um, so I am gonna pick up I do a a bar. An investigation. Am I going to get anything out of what this is? I'm just a investigation roll. Okay, roll an investigation check. Thank you. One moment. Oh, okay. Do I say goodnight to your mother? Okay. That's 17. Okay. Uh, can you tell me what you're trying to think of? Think about it for a second. I just need Give me a second. I'll be back now. Five minute break? What? Knew it. It's just off by five minutes. Um, guys, my yes. character is not exactly gonna know what we should be looking for in terms of this investigation. So help, help. Trying <laughs> to establish if it's ore. Issue sure character is from there. That, but they've added something to it, a meta knowledge. But yeah, it looks different from normal ore. That's basically what you're trying exactly. to do. So. That's yeah. what I'm trying to establish. Oh. I'm assuming we also saw the lake thing while we were walking. It's ore. That's it's the yeah, 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 yeah. We walked over the Listen, cave. you are in a cave and you got suspended in a cage, which, you know, it's fair to say you're able to see everything up until the point you were incarcerated. Yeah. So, so this is new ore. to you. I'll be surprised. All right. Well, how did you and get I here in the first place? Firebolt. He didn't like my music. Listen, you and your fire stop it, Gareth. You're gonna blow us all up. That's all points. Have you realized that uh, my characters are mostly suicidal? <laughs> Come on, let's get it to <sighs> I don't mind if I die. I'll take all of you with me. Okay, flat, calm down. No, I'm joking. I'm He's not flat. He's always flat. Don't you know this? I'm always flat. True. True. I'm, I'm, I, I was actually thinking about it today, but I'm flat the employer. So, um, Nathan. Mm-hmm. Right? There's a certain other little creature, right? <laughs> that puffed and disappeared. No relation. Right? Yeah. And... That would mean, technically, she didn't join the party. Yes, yes. She's not dead. She didn't join the party. So, mm -hmm. if we are to go back to one year, you would find her at the yeah. exact same place where she was. When yes. you found her first time. Yes. So she's not gone. Nah. I know this. No one's technically the gone. They live within the sound of her memories and all hearts. It is part of my plan. The energy never ceases to exist. It'll be like deja vu. Right. <laughs> mm. It'll be like a whole romantic moment, you know? It's like, hey, do I know you? Maybe. Gonna go get a cup of ale. Spider-Man! No way, no way. Like, yeah. I wouldn't know you from jack shit because I'd never met you then, technically. Exactly, but I'll know exactly how to push or st stroke your buttons. Oh my god. Wow. Hug. Mm. And oh. I'm back. Just calm down there, Casanova. Bro, Laurelette was, like, the best friend of Nathan. Oh. Like, I'm just saying. He said it! No, we were taking a break. I didn't reference Tink. Yeah, we were taking huh? a break, so it doesn't count. 
Yeah, we're in a break mode, so it doesn't count. Ah, uh, okay. And it wasn't in reference to thing either. Thank you. Thank you, group. <sighs> okay, I'm tired. I'm gonna get sleep now. So. I, I wear T as a belt. That's that's it's perfectly <laughs> fine, bro. T will accept this as a as a condition. Yeah, I think we're gonna be a bit big. It's a sash. A belt. Nah, I could maybe be one as a sash. Yeah, a scarf. Wait, how does T carry an ore bar? Does he deep throat it? The fuck would T deep throat an ore bar, bro? Jesus. <laughs> Yeah, just regurgitate it once you're back into your normal thing. Tea thingy. carries things mm -hmm. just any way you, humanoids would. Tea is half snake, half human. He's still a humanoid. To get. He's just scaly. But, but just, he has an, an incredible just ability uh, to swallow things whole. I'm a swallow, not a swallow. Ricky, what were you trying to establish with that investigation check? Please answer. So, essentially, what I want to try and figure out. Uh is um if it's financially valuable or if there's a certain amount of like power emanating from it um Ricky, what i'm trying to you establish know, you, is bruh, why bruh, are they doing this bruh, you know you can ask us right? right like your 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 party members like who are yeah. intensely you know did, but you know they never got any feedback Oh, oh, you know, oh, during the break, no yeah. feedback was given. No, it's it's, well, yeah, there, there, there was during the break. It doesn't count. Uh, so if you ask us in game, oh. we'll be like, yeah, 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 no, this is financially fucking like highly valuable. Like a gram of it could fucking feed a, a continent for like a year. <laughs> and it's also one of the rarest substances. Currently, yeah, yeah, one hundred. It's, it's like the yeah. black diamond. It's like it's like, like plutonium. Ask my team, is guys, there's something that seems to be off about this ore. I want to kind of look into what they've done to it and kind of figure out why. <laughs> this here is processed ore, my friend. It is one of the most it's, valuable. It's clear. It's clear. Remember, Correct. it's clear. It's pure yes. ore. Normal, normal ore ingots are opaque. Yeah. So the fact that this oh. is clear. It was colorful after is... they added that stuff. No, no. no it it went like a colors. rainbow effect and then it was, went clear. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh... Correct. Yeah. So, so, okay, so I, I grab one. Up. There means something up. They've taken the ore out of the ore. Like, it's, it's fucking incredible. I don't know how they've done it. Okay. That is that is a very good description, Anthony. Sorry. They've taken the ore out of the ore. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad uh, app description. And with the party continuing yeah. their investigations in the underground factory of sorts. And with the arrival of two new party members. Oh, yeah. What more adventures and mischief will the party get up to? Who is this mysterious individual? Will the party track down Bob's mate? Join us again and next week, same time, same place, for another episode of Critical Hit. You've been listening to a live stream, and we'll catch you on the flip side. Bye. 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 Oh, another Bye. question yes. for the viewers out there. Did Tink level up to level 12? <laughs> no. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next session, you know. Ambitious. That's what happens. And Gareth, you can stop it the stream, please. Okay. Uh, I will stop the stream. Probably around about. As the world rolls. Now.